What if I tell you that I have a way how you can remove tilt reliably, that is easy, that doesn't cost much, and that you can actually do inside and do not waste any time outside when you have some precious clear sky? How to do that? Right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so good to meet you on and thanks for watching my channel. So as you can see, I'm back from vacation, I have a little bit of tan, I'm fully relaxed, full of great ideas for the upcoming videos, so the best way not to miss them is to hit the subscribe button. But with that, let's talk about tilt. First of all, what is tilt? Tilt is when your sensor of your camera is not in a right angle to the optical path. So I can have various reasons from that. The camera sensor on the camera is not 100% plane to any of the parts which are between the camera and your telescope might have a slight angle out of whatever reason. But the result is that usually the picture is then on one side sharp and on the other side not sharp. And I had exactly that issue with my Ascar SQA 106. And so I started to look how I can remove the tilt. Now, until now, the best way was actually with Nina and a plugin called Hocus Focus, where you have an aberration inspector, which actually shows you nicely within Nina where the tilt is, how much, and based on that, you can start to remove it. Now, that's definitely better than being completely blind and just fiddling around. The issue with it, first of all, that you're outside. So you have your whole rig installed. And so sometimes it might be even hard to get to the screws of the tilt plate. Also, it might be pretty dark, so you don't see what you're doing. You're wasting your time outside. And also after each correction that you're doing, you have to do another full autofocus, which might take you two, three, five minutes. And then you can try the next correction until it's good. So it's a quite lengthy process. And then a lot of people which simply gave up. So is there a better way? And one better way has actually Queef presented to you, I think, two or three weeks back with the Wonder Astro ETA. And I put the link to this video in the description below. In short, it's a device which you attach in your optical path and through some motors, it will automatically adjust everything and your tilt is gone, which sounds amazing. There are a few problems with that. First of all, and Queef nicely mentioned that, this thing costs over $800, which is a huge amount of money. But there's a bigger problem underlying, and that is that tilt removal is not something which you do regularly, like autofocus. You do it once, the tilt is gone, and normally it doesn't come back. It's something that's stable, which means if you buy such a Wonder ETA and let's say you have different rigs, so then you actually build the thing into one rig, it will correct the tilt, but now it's blocked. You have to leave it there. If you take it away, the tilt is back again. So it's not like you correct the tilt on one rig, then you move it to the next and to the next and all your tilt is gone of all your rigs. It, you would actually have to pay $800 per rig for a one-time action to get this tilt gone. And I'm really sorry, I kind of think this tool is looking really cool, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. There is even in our hobby a limit where things are getting too expensive. So, and that leads me to my proposal. And my proposal is this here. It's from a Norwegian company called 
Astro Precision. It's called Tilt Adjuster and it costs with the M48 size 255 euro. It's also not cheap, but this thing does everything I just mentioned. You can use it inside and I will show you how. You can use it at as many rigs as you want. It's very precise and it makes your tilt go away. So how does it work? It's an ingenious contraption. It has inside a laser and a camera. And that's practically it. And it will be connected to a Windows PC through USB. So you actually connect this to the camera at the end of your optical path. You don't need the telescope for that. And then the laser goes down to the sensor, is reflected back up here, the camera records it, and through turning this thing, it can calculate the tilt. And then you actually have a live view, and while you're fiddling around on the screws, you see right on your screen how the tilt is removed. And that's so amazing. This thing, by the way, is 3D printed, which I also think is pretty cool. This is not a huge company. This is two guys who had a great idea, who made a nice little business out of it. They're printing that and shipping it. Mine is serial number 169, so not too many have been shipped until now. But personally, I feel this should be in the drawer of each and every astrophotographer. Because even when I check now the cameras where I did not suspect tilt, all of that had to a certain degree tilt, which I was able to remove. And we spend so much money on, on filters, on cameras, and at the end we mess the whole thing up because we have some kind of tilt which we didn't even know in the first place. But it will make parts of your picture less in focus. So I will show you now right at the camera because of which I bought this thing, the Moravian, how I can get rid of the tilt that I have there. Okay, so let's get this party started. So I'm on my Mini Quieter, that's about the only PC that I have at hand, and screen share that to my Mac. So the little software that helps us actually solve this issue is called Tilt Adjuster. We have this open here. So the first thing we're doing now is we open a new profile, and I call this Moravian. Now I have to enter a few things. First of all, the data of the sensor. So we have pixel size 3.76. We have a width of 23.5 and a height of 15.7. We have pixels 6,280 times 4,264. I have three adjustment screws. Here with the tolerance, just end the 5%. And for me, it's about a 2.5 seeing. For the telescope, the diameter is 106. The focal length is around 500 millimeter. Focal ratio is 4.8. And I don't have a reducer, so I'm here at one. Now the last thing I need is the distance from the sensor to the instrument front. So let's measure that. The sensor is around here. Instrument front is here. So I get around 41 millimeters. Once we have done that, we save this profile. We select it. And now I actually have to connect this device. Okay, and once I have done that, I say connect to instrument. It calibrates now the instrument, and here we are. So now you actually see the laser dot, the center of it, and that's actually recorded by the internal camera. So not by the Moravian, but by the camera in the tilt adjuster. 
Now we go to calibrate with auto detect and we get to this screen here. And now the whole adventure begins. So when we look now at the camera, we have to label one screw as one. Let's say it's this here, then this here is two, and this here is three. So on one place here, there is an indicator. And with this indicator, we go now on one. Once we are there, we know everything is tightly on. We press sample. Now we're waiting and now it's finished sampling. So now it shows you on the screen that you have to go to two. So you turn it around with the indicator and as long as the indicator is now on the two screw. You wait a second, you ensure again it's firm on, you press sample. Don't let yourself confuse by the rotate button. If it still says sampling, you have to hold still. Now we can move on and you see it's now on three. So we move it over to three. Again, make sure it's firm. We press sample. Now we actually see nicely the huge tilt that we have. The red circle is about the same as the green circle. So it completely messes up the whole focus. The red circle should in principle not even be there or very, very minimal in the middle. So it should be green, blue and red. And that's also what I saw with the other cameras that I tested. There actually I had some tilt in between the blue. I could still reduce it, but it was minor. But here the tilt is huge. So we have to get rid of it. No wonder my pictures until now are a mess. So how do we do that? So we have actually to rotate it back again now to screw number one. That's done now. Now we press continue. So what you see now is this crosshair. And this crosshair should be all the way here in the middle. That's what we have to achieve with turning around the screws on the camera, on the tilt plate. So let's start now with one of the screws. We can, for example, start with number one and see what the effect is. And then I'll open this up. And now raise this a little bit here. And you see it goes in the right direction. And that's a huge improvement to the four. So we repeat now this whole process. So I'm already on one, which means I can simply just ensure that it's nicely and stable. And I press sample. And as you can see now, the ring is actually on the blue line here, not on the green anymore. So we are already, we have already a huge improvement here. So we go again back to number one. We press continue. Again, we have it across here. So let's try to get that in even further. We are now at the third iteration. And as you can see, the red circle is now finally where it actually should be. Right inside here, green, blue, red. Still, can we get it a little bit smaller? Maybe. Okay, and look at that. And now we have of a 30 theoretical, we have a 20, and this is now really good enough. So I was able to remove practically all the tilt from my camera. Now to be very clear, there's some videos around to tell you that you can do that in three minutes. I want to clearly say this is not true. It took me now, all in all, more than half an hour. But again, this is a one-time task. And if you can do it in your basement or in your house and you do not have to waste the whole night, it's great. And by the way, knowing now how sensitive this all is, how tough it is to know exactly which screw you have to turn, doing that outside at night by every time you do an adjustment, running a focus round and not seeing live what you have actually already done, I would agree, I would give up. That sounds impossible to me, at least with a standard tilt plate. So this is really amazing that I was able 
to do that. And now I screw my camera on and everything will be fine. Absolutely great tool. So I hope I was able to convince you how great this thing is. And if you buy it and use it, please leave your experience in the comments below. I'm thrilled to hear if it also works that great for you as it did with me. See you next time and clear skies.